guys welcome back to our channel as today our video is all about what may happen if the deputy president honorable Ruto is impeached from his seat most especially this season as we talk about the statements of one wise man honorable Suleiman Shabal please stay tuned to our channel to always get informed on what is trending every time he called I used to respond William Samoy Arab Ruto how are you then of course he became deputy president and suddenly the friendly familiarity became inappropriate when Uhuru called it was easy to say hi boss when he calls now you suddenly find yourself standing at an attention irrespective of where you are saying your excellency sir as president harry truman said the office makes the man others may argue that the man can also diminish the office but i beg to differ donald trump with all his absurdities and eccentricity could not damage the presidency of the u.s one week after he left office he became a non-entity such as the power of such offices our presidency may not have a 254 year history but we have to keep history in mind before we act in haste to start impeachment process. I would like to believe that on a personal level, Dr. Ruto is still a friend of mine. Politically, we parted ways when he started cohabiting with my political opponents. In the Mickey waters of Kenya's political landscape, it is foolish to take politics personally. I have told people on the ground that nothing is permanent in politics and therefore they should not personalize political differences. At the top, they switch partners with the changing of the seasons and it is the small boys who catch feelings that get hurt. I traveled with Ruto across the country and particularly in the coast campaigning for Jubilee. He is a dynamo. I have yet to come across any politician who has the energy that Ruto has. His memory is like some programmed customer database and he remembers the people from the remotest villages of the coast. I was shocked when he started greeting lecturers by name at Pwani University. His command of local dialect and greetings amazed even the locals in all the places we went to. Without doubt, he was a major driver of the Jubilee campaigns across Kenya and deserves credit for Jubilee's victories in 2020, 13 and 2017. I am not here to judge whether Ruto is good or bad. It is too early and history will decide that. Neither am I writing as a supporter or opponent of Ruto. Politically, he has chosen his position, I have chosen mine. So be it. I am doing this absurdity of trying to impeach a sitting deputy president. It doesn't work. First, I fail to see the logic of trying to impeach a man with a a few months later in office. The probability of success is marginal and the risk of dividing parliament is high. Our parliamentarians are there to serve the nation first and the party second. Yet, we are forcing them to take strictly partisan positions. Second, such a move will inevitably end up in court where it will drag for months as we head into elections and will not be concluded before the elections. If the intent is to throw mud around, then it is good to play in the, in the peak style. Let it stay in the campaign trade but certainly not the parliament third every kenyan will see that that this is political marksmanship with 2022 in sight all this will achieve is to earn ruto more sympathy votes people will always root for the underdog people always sympathize with the man on the floor this will fit in perfectly with the narratives of the hustler being kicked around by the rich and powerful and people will forget that he too is powerful i saw this in mombasa politics in 2017 when Hassan Joho positioned himself as the victim of the power state. Every time the president and his deputy attacked him, he earned more sympathy votes. We are seeing a repeat of the same misguided strategy and Ruto will be the main beneficiary. This makes us wonder whether this is political, myopia, or a deliberate strategy that we cannot see. Fourth, the deputy president is part and parcel of the presidency. Diminishing the office of the deputy president diminishes the presidency. Let us keep austerity in the perspective. Ruto is one of many DPs that will come and go, but the office will remain. It is a constitutional office that demands respect irrespective of who holds it now. To try and drag a process that cannot be concluded will only tarnish the office. Let us look at history as an example. In 1966, Kanu leaders led by the late Tom Boyer sought to finish off Jaramogi Oginga Odinga by creating six vice president offices. What he did achieve? Jaramogi left and went into opposition. The office of the VP remain diminishing status and a plaything of the president until we solidified it with the 2010 constitution. Let us not repeat the same mistake that will be cutting our nose to spite the face. Let reason prevail. We have more pressing issues to deal with. What do you think about Honorable Shabal views of point? Please comment, like, share and subscribe to our channel. Bye!